Happy Fall! Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. This is Habiba here. Today we're doing a fall clean and decorate garden deck. So I hope you have your cocoa and your hot apple cider or your favorite tea ready and let's get decorating and cleaning. So I'm going to show you what it looks like in the daytime and then I'm also going to show you the garden deck once I've made it look like fall and made it look all cozy and pretty. I'll show you what it looks like at night. So I hope you enjoy this video and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like fat family, home, garden, cooking videos. I got lots for you, so stay tuned. My son helped me get my stuff out the garage and I got a bunch of fall stuff that I've used over the years and collected. I'm probably not gonna use all of them, um, so I'll take what I need. Some of them are really for in the house, but there's a garland or a wreath here that I'm gonna put on the front door. I also have this board which I've had for a few years. It was a black board that I DIY'd. It always comes in handy during the holidays because you can, you know, put some really nice signs on it or words. Um, you know, you can use it as a shopping list board or like I said, in my case, come the holidays, I always like to put some signs on it. So it's just a regular door and can you believe I picked it up for $5 at one of these thrift shops and I painted it with chalkboard. So you'll see that outside too. On the inside of my front door, I have this wreath that I really love. It's really more of a spring wreath, but on the outside of the door, I have this. This is the front door and it could definitely stand with some cleaning. I have a front doormat on here pretty generic. I think I will swap it swap it for the new one that I bought. Right now these are the stairs to the back porch slash deck and it's not looking very inspiring so we're gonna change that. All right, I think I want back some of those plants that I had over there on the shade since it's not that hot anymore. So Kareem, can I have the two hydrangeas? Okay. All right, let's move it that way a little bit more. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut down some of the plants that have kind of overgrown like this uh, blueberry bush over here. And I'm also gonna try to clean off the deck, kind of declutter before we build it back up. hibiscus plant is definitely a warm weather or tropical plant so I think they can stay on this deck for a few more months and then well not a few more months we're already in October so probably for one more month and then I'll put it in the garage uh, covered so that they don't freeze and grow back next spring hope you are relaxed. I'm just going to continue with the video without talking because I'm always talking in the videos. <laughs> so today I'm not going to talk. 
well, I'm gonna try not to talk and just get on with it, okay? So enjoy.
here's a little tip. If you don't have enough tea lights or you can't find them, like I can't find my tea lights, but you want candle lights, which makes everything magical, just find some little dessert shooters like these. These are like little dessert shooters. And I think I'll probably only use them as tea lights from now on because I've got some of the wax in them, but they were inexpensive. All right, let's put them on the stairs. even step away for five minutes without these two getting into my stuff you guys yes I know you're cute but um that's my picnic basket Ayudele I'm talking to you oh you didn't get in there yes you did I didn't put you in there whose idea was it whose idea was it Penelope's Penelope I don't know how the girls managed to find their way up on these stairs because I'm a little nervous for them because this looks a little bit dangerous, but somehow they found their way down the stairs. Jamila looking very guilty. <laughs> you guys just wanted to get outside? Okay, I understand. Bye, say bye y'all.